You're watching From the Heart with John Willard. Hi friends, John Willard here, gentleman poet, storyteller, and NACA contributor. Good story of compassion today. And remember the subscribe button below for CNA TV. Oh, trips down memory lane. My hope is that by sharing with you, my fellow traveler, I will have enriched your journey. If you can't load up and come to the Ozarks, then come. Take the journey with me. Oh, the Ozarks are sights, sounds, and scenery. The changing seasons pulls us like a magnet. Friendship, family, acts of generosity, and self-sacrifice. Mm. Affecting the life of even one person in a positive way, we make a difference in the world. I'm reminded of my video when I showed the difference Doc McCracken made, a country doctor during the Depression, how his life made a difference for the good of so many people. Mm -mm. I suspect we all know the feeling of being a supporting actor in other people's lives. A friend is undergoing chemotherapy for cancer, and we visit her, drive her to an appointment. Her life is a drama, life or death struggle. We are in the background, doing what we can to make things turn out well. We have two worlds a world that honors people for being attractive and productive. It's a world that reveres winners and scorns losers. Fortunately, there is another world. Its heroes are models of compassion rather than competition. In that world, you win by sacrifice and self-restraint. You win by helping your neighbor and sharing with him rather than by finding weakness and defeating him. When I was young, I spent energy devoted to getting and spending. Oh, my world now seems like a 180 of my first world. Now, the world where old people are respected Expected for their wisdom and experience as were old ideas and values. A world where people are described as beautiful because they exude compassion and generosity rather than wealth and glamour. Success has a very different meaning here. As I grew old, I came to admire kind people. The nicest feeling in the world is to do a good deed anonymously. If I affect the world in some small but real way, this shows that my life matters. We don't have to find a cure for cancer. We only have to share our lives with other people. Few of us can do great things, but all of us can do small things with love. If I have changed lives and others have changed mine in my life along the way, oh, that made it all worthwhile. This story reminds me of NACA and CNAs. One of my favorite quotes on compassion from George Washington Carver. 
be tender with the young and compassionate with the aged because someday in your life you will have been both of these. Find someone in need and do something to help that person. This story shows what can happen when such advice is followed. A nurse found herself one day attempting to console a grief-stricken mother who just lost her only child. The woman was sitting in stunned silence, gazing blindly into space as tears streamed down her cheeks. Mrs. Norris, the nurse asked her, have you noticed the little boy sitting in the hall next to your daughter's room? Mrs. Norris had not. There, said the nurse, is a case. She pointed out that the little boy's mother had been brought to the hospital in an ambulance about a week earlier from a shabby one-room apartment where she and the boy had lived since their arrival in the U.S. from Europe three months before. The nurse had learned that the mother and son had no family. They had lost all their people in the old country and knew no one in America. They only had each other. Hmm. Every day, the nurse explained, the little boy kept a vigil at his mother's side, hoping that she would come out of her coma. She never will. The nurse said to Mrs. Norris, Death has taken her along with your daughter. Now it's my duty, said the nurse, to go out and tell that little fellow that at the age of seven, he is all alone in the world. She paused, then turned plaintively to Mrs. Norris. I don't suppose, she said hesitantly, that you could go out and tell him for me? Mrs. Norris stood up, dried her tears, walked out into the hall, and put her arms around the boy. She had found someone in need and did something about it. The next day, she took the homeless boy to her childless home. In the darkest moment of their lives, a grief-stricken mother and a little boy became beacons of love and hope for each other. Mm -mm -mm. My final thought. A little girl lost her playmate in death and one day reported to her family that she had gone to comfort the sorrowing mother. What did you say? asked her father. Nothing, she replied. I just climbed up on her lap and cried with her. Mmm, compassion! Many things will catch your eye, but only a few will catch your heart. Pursue those. You can reach me on Twitter at John Willard 47 Until next time, friends, this is John Willard from the Farms.